we saw a pretty decent weekend. We saw very little rainfall and we're continuing to see those nice conditions starting off your Monday morning. That sun is starting to come on up and notice over in Glen Jean, we are off to a dry start. That rain is staying on off to our west for just a little bit longer, leaving us with drier and partly cloudy conditions as we start off your Monday morning. Temperatures were off to a pleasant start as well. Most of us sitting in the low to mid 60s, 60 degrees in Ridgewood, 61 in Summersville, 62 in Fayetteville and down in Mullins, 64 in Pineville and 60 in Bluefield. So really not too bad out there this morning and as the day goes on, we'll continue to see those temperatures warm on up. Now taking a look at our future cast, notice as the morning goes on, we're going to continue to see drier conditions. We will start to see that increase in cloud cover though and by the afternoon time hours we could be left with maybe a stray shower going into your evening, but those chances staying very low as most of that rain will make its way on in into the nighttime and overnight hours. And we'll notice that our temperatures were sitting just a little bit cooler as we go through the afternoon time hours today. We're going to be sitting in the low to mid 70s just because of that cloud cover will keep us just a little bit cooler than what we have seen this past weekend, but still sitting very nice and warm. We'll go into the overnight hours. Notice that we'll start to see those rain chances increase. Temperatures cooling on down into the 50s, so still not too bad as we go into the overnight hours. But notice as we go into your Wednesday, things are cooling on down even more and we're keeping those rain showers around. Some of these showers could be on the heavier side. Temperatures reaching close to 60 degrees for your Tuesday. Keeping those showers around going into the nighttime hours and especially as we go into your Wednesday as we will continue to see a wet week and active week ahead of us. Notice as we go into your Wednesday, temperatures going to be sitting just a little bit cooler. We're going to be reaching the mid to upper 50s as our high temperatures for your Wednesday. So we're looking at cooler conditions and very wet week ahead of us. Now taking a look how much rainfall we could be seeing going into your Tuesday afternoon. Not looking at too much right now. We're looking at about maybe a half inch for a good portion of the area. Of course, with those heavier downpours and some thunderstorms, we could see those rainfall amounts just increase a little bit more. Now we are seeing that flood threat stick around as we go into the next couple of days. Today it'll stay fairly out of our area. It'll stay off to our west and south. Tazewell County can't rule out maybe that marginal threat for some heavier rain and some uh, flood uh, flood potentials, but those chances staying very low. We'll go into the day tomorrow, pushing on into our area just a little bit more and we'll keep it around as we go into your Wednesday as well. So we will see that marginal risk for some flooding. So we will keep an eye on that but right now, not looking too terrible at this moment. So taking a look at our future cast wind gusts. Also, we're going to be staying fairly calm southeast winds at 5 to 15 miles per hour today, but we'll kick it up just a notch as we go into the day tomorrow coming out of the east at uh, 10 to 15 miles per hour, but we could see gusts up to 30, maybe even 35 miles per hour. So another thing that we'll be watching, but we're looking at a breezy day ahead of us for tomorrow as well. And we're going to move on to the tropics. We're still seeing tropical storm Arthur out there as of five o'clock this morning. He had winds at 45 miles per hour. Well, he's going to skirt up the coast of along the outer banks, strengthen just a little bit more up to 50 miles per hour, 50 mile per hour winds, and then eventually he'll start to weaken and push on off to sea. So really not going to see any impacts here in West Virginia. But of course, the Carolinas could be experiencing some very heavy rain and some wind. Taking it back to our area, we're going to be seeing partly sunny skies for the day today. Showers returning later on tonight. Temperatures reaching the low to mid 70s and those winds staying fairly calm for the day today. Now taking a look at the next seven days, we're looking at quite a bit of rain as we go through the rest of your week. We'll really kick on in tomorrow. Temperatures cooling back down into the 50s and 60s. We'll warm things up as we enter week and go into the weekend, but those with those rain chances staying with us as we go through the rest of your week.